Jets nickel cornerback Michael Carter II was one of the most underrated players on the team in 2022. So let's take a look at the All-22 and I'll show you how Carter put on a zone coverage masterclass. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown and today we're looking at MC2's 2022. Because the Jets play a ton of zone coverage and there's a lot of underneath completions, sometimes it's easy to think that Carter hasn't played that well, but realistically, he was a monster in zone coverage last year. There's a reason PFF gave him a 74 overall grade, his zone coverage was a big part of that, and I'm going to show you what skills allowed him to be so successful. So here he is in the slot, left hand side of the Jets formation against the Miami Dolphins, in the red zone, a rep to seal the game. Watch this play at full speed, the job Carter does diagnosing the play, jumping on the table route, but then his eye discipline to come back and nearly pick this pass off, it is just phenomenal. In a little more detail now, he's going to let the number two receiver go vertically, you can see he passes him onto the safety once he goes past his zone, and he jumps straight on this table route. Does a fantastic job, as Skylar Thompson starts to roll out, he is just completely sitting on the primary read, but look how he then watches the eyes of Skylar Thompson, he throws this ball to the inside, Carter peels off, he leaves his man and very nearly intercepts this football. This is such a cerebral, instinctual football play. From the way he lets his man go deep initially at the number two receiver, to jumping on the out route, coming back across, this is a fantastic zone coverage rep, and there were a ton of these from Michael Carter II. The second rep we're going to look at is from the same game against the Dolphins. And this is another beauty from Michael Carter. This time he's on the right hand side of the Jets formation over the slot receiver. I'm gonna let this one roll and I want you to look again at the instincts and feel in zone coverage and then the ability to make the play at the catch point. This is a ridiculously good rep. So what am I talking about here? Michael Carter does a really nice job here getting depth of the initial part of his drop, but he has to have integrity for his zone. He has to watch. Have a look in the flat here near the numbers. You've got Raheem Mozart. He can't just vacate that space. Plus, you've got the tight end leaking across here who's gone from a block and release across the Dolphins formation from right to left. So Michael Carter is in a bind because look what's happening behind him here. The Dolphins have sent two men vertical and they've run this deep out route. But Michael Carter reads the eyes of Skylar Thompson he gets enough depth and then scrambles with incredible makeup speed and look what he does. High point the football, play through the receiver's hands and break that ball up. A ridiculously good job here. What I love about this is it isn't necessarily a bust from Michael Carter to begin with, but he just has the innate feel and understanding to go and make that play, what the route concept was, and he gets it done. A great job on these reps against Miami. Feel and instincts in zone coverage just amazing. That's what you want from a slot corner. This is a defining play in the Jets season. It was a pick six from Michael Carter II, but ended up coming back for a roughing the passer that was very, very soft. Michael Carter, right-hand side of the Jets formation. Have a look at the job he does sitting underneath this route, takes away Mac Jones' primary option. He reads the eyes of the quarterback, and he's going to take this. Look at the speed of Michael Carter. It's easy to forget because he's a slot guy. He's a little smaller. He's an elite athlete. We're talking about a sub-4-4 four, four guy. But look at the job he does here in zone coverage again. Underneath, look how quickly he settles underneath this route. Does a fantastic job. You tell me how you can cover this any better. As Mac Jones goes to release the football, he is just in the hip pocket of the receiver. He's blanketed him. There's no way you can get this football. But on top of that, he gets his eyes back to Mac Jones. He's reading the quarterback and he breaks on the football and makes a great play. Once again, this is as good as it gets from Michael Carter. In zone coverage, his eye discipline, his feel, and his ability to read the eyes of the quarterback is what impressed me the most. This was a fantastic play. It is such a shame that it got called back because this would have been a win for the Jets. In the end, it was a huge letdown. But Michael Carter, once again, showing off the instincts, route recognition, great coverage ability, and can make plays on the football to boot. So I've already showed you some examples of Michael Carter making plays over his head and getting really nice depth to his drops, 
but it's also really important for a nickel corner to be able to make plays on the football in front of him, to break on the ball, and to get the team off the field. He did a phenomenal job in this capacity for the Jets late in the season. So Michael Carter, you can see him in motion with Jalen Waddle. I've circled him there. Have a look at his uh, identification of routes once again, settling under the slant and then breaking on the football. And once again, we've got a pass defended from Michael Carter. I really like his understanding of what happens behind him. He sees Hill wants to settle down, find this first window. Michael Carter says no chance. Read the eyes of Skylar Thompson, sit in the throwing lane. Phenomenal job. But now we're going to continue to read his eyes to the flat and then break on that football and get our hands in there to make a play and once again to put the Jets in a phenomenal position. He terrorized the Dolphins all season long. He was ridiculously good against a really talented wide receiver and tight end skill position group. This was another great rep. Michael Carter making plays in front of him this time in zone coverage. A very similar type of play, but this time against the Minnesota Vikings. Michael Carter, look how he reads and reacts the play in front of him, breaks on this football, and again, makes the play. He does a fantastic job not arriving early, riding Dalvin Cook's back. He gets there on time. He doesn't cause a PI. And once again, he gets the pass breakup. This is a dude that just had the ability to get his hands on the football and break up passes. He is really good at closing. Look how quickly he gets his foot in the ground and gets downhill plays through the receiver without going into the back. But once again, he shows off that speed. Last time, it was the ability to make up ground. This time, it's the ability to close in front of him. And I really like that from Michael Carter. Last kind of topic I want to look at in Carter's zone coverage. He's fantastic at just making plays through contact in space. This is a great example against the Patriots. You're going to see him right hand side of the Jets formation, identify the little wide receiver screen, work through that block, take away the space and make the tackle for no gain. This is a really nice job. The Patriots have a three on two here. They've got the numbers advantage they want here with the play drawn up. But Michael Carter does a great job working his block down the line of scrimmage keeps his hat to the outside, and then corrals the ball carrier and makes the play. You can't ask for anything more than that from your slot corner. This is a small dude. He probably weighs, what, 190 pounds? But he makes a phenomenal play. He was really good at working through traffic in these congested areas. He had 50-plus solo tackles last year. That is a ton. Michael Carter can play in this nickel package a lot, whether teams want to run or pass. He can hold up, and it's because he can work through contact and is really good in these kind of spaces. And last play for the review, just kind of summing up the last two things we've talked about. Closing speed and working through contact while identifying a concept. Left-hand side of the formation here. Have a look at his job immediately closing and making the tackle in space. This may look very simple, but this is a third down, third and long, get off the field. Do a good job with your eyes, recognizing what the op opposition's trying to do. The Dolphins here are throwing this little screen. No way. Michael Carter's not letting the tackle get to him. He is too quick to read, to identify, and then to put his foot in the ground, close, wrap the tackle, and get the New York Jets off the field. Great job, Michael Carter. So guys, that's why I'm so impressed by the zone coverage ability of Michael Carter. He can make plays down the field vertically. He gets his hands on a ton of footballs, but he can also corral ball carriers in front of him and close on the football as well. Carter is a talented footballer who is an underrated part of this Jets defense.